Well, that one's clearly not good. Yeah, that is, that is like clearly not good. Some of our smaller sweet potatoes from our harvest and uh, they don't look like much but let's see what they look like on the inside so this is one of the reasons why although i encourage everybody to try to garden the homesteading part is the most challenging part of it getting the produce from the garden preserving it storing it finding some way to use it in a timely manner before something like this happens that is to me more difficult than actually growing most of the food nature pretty much will work for you and work with you once you understand how it works and how the different crops grow so that's just the first half of it the second half is figuring out how to store process utilize what you're growing so of those potatoes that we harvested earlier this year we were able to use the larger ones we didn't have a great harvest but i'm always thankful for whatever we get considering the fact that a lot of the times we're not able to put as much energy into it as certain crops require so to get anything is a blessing especially with it only being the four of us um well, I'm going to say four and a half, <laughs> managing the farm is just like, it's it's a blessing to get whatever we get. So I wasn't upset with our harvest this year, but I did save those smaller ones for later. And obviously I did not recognize how damaged this one was. I probably should have just immediately thrown into the compost, but yeah, that's pretty disgusting. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting. But it again, it comes with territory. So get started on using some of our butternut squash that actually we didn't grow but that were gifted to us from a friend who had some overabundance in their garden with their butternut squash and they gave us so many they gave us so many can you imagine imagine how many they actually had so we have i think this is the last two uh i thought we had used the last two already but we hadn't and so yeah i wanted to add a little bit of color to the dish and that's why I went and got the purple potatoes from the back and now I'm just like that made me mad it made me sad it made me sad more than anything because you buy these slips or you take the time to make them yourself and then you plant them and for us it's either bought soil or composted soil or both and then you fertilize them with organic pro um, organic fertilizer inputs and then you know you want to be able to use what you harvest guys i cannot tell you how bad i'm irritated by that Ugh. okay let this be a lesson to you have a plan have a plan so yeah that's just my my sermon for the day <sighs> have a plan all right i'm gonna continue working on dinner the long end of the butternut squash we chopped up and sauteed and the round end we scooped out the seeds and we stuffed it with a spinach cheese mix it was so delicious the butternut squash was sauteed with these garbanzo beans some spinach and those purple potatoes bon appetit Thank you.